I can't wait to share with you the drugstore dupes that I have found that I've rounded up because I don't think that these have been shown anywhere. Not that I know of, although one of them I did get from a viewer, so it might be out there already. Let's get into those so that I can share with you how you can save some money and still have high-end makeup that's beautiful. Hi friends, my very, very favorite videos to do because I love saving money. I know that you love saving money. This video, even though it might not be the perfect exact colors on these dupes, the formulas are just as good. And I feel like a lot of times the drugstore formula can outperform the high-end formula and I cannot wait to share those with you. So it might be a more along the lines of buy this at the drugstore, not that at high-end or luxury. So let's get started. The first one I love is from Urban Decay. They're 24 seven pencils. They have an array of gorgeous, gorgeous colors. This is one of my favorite and it's called Electric Empire. Very kind of tealish green, a very pretty green for me to be able to wear. I love it a lot, but I did tell you very recently about this one from CoverGirl, which is the Exhibitionist. This is a waterproof formula, and I'm telling you that this formula outperforms Urban Decay over and over again. I wish that they would come out with that array of colors that Urban Decay has because it would be fantastic. This is called Emerald. You're gonna see that Emerald is a lot more green and it's a lot more deep than the actual one from Urban Decay. Okay, so that's why buy this, not that. But the reason is, is because not because of the color per se, but it's because of the lasting power. I can put this on, let it set down, and I will be able to smudge the Urban Decay off and not the CoverGirl Exhibitionist one. I'm gonna let this sit. We're gonna come back to it. The creaminess is just fantastic. Put that uh, Exhibitionist in your waterline. You're gonna have it there all day. I do have one of these put into my waterline today just to kind of brighten up and kind of, you know, tie in my blue shirt a little bit. But I really feel like the Exhibitionist outperforms this 100%. And I'll show you as soon as this sets down how I rub it and you'll see that. It's really really quite impressive. The next thing is really one of my favorite finds. I was so excited when I found it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Everybody talks about this. This is one that people go gaga over and they're saying that it's their best uh, primer. It's a wonderful highlighter. It is all of those things. It is in a doe foot applicator. Let's see, I have mine in color two. Um, light and it's a good color. It's a really good color. It is a little bit thicker of a product It seems like it's almost along the lines of a concealer So you kind of just dab it across and it brings some light to that area It's really popular for using underneath makeup. You can feel the slip in it You can feel the, the dimethicone in it So it does kind of tick off that box of being able to wear it under a matte foundation Because it's going to give you some light under there and when I got it I wasn't super blown away with it. I was like, okay, this is good, but I don't know if it's something that I would repurchase, but Elle sent me this one. This is the Electric Mood Illuminating Elixir Priming Serum. Okay, so this is specifically for priming. This is so close to that in texture. I actually like it a little bit better because it's a little bit thinner, but it sinks into my mature skin a little bit better, but I feel like it gives a better glow. So you've got the Charlotte Tilbury up here, which I feel like has almost gotten to look like a matte after it sat down. And then you have the one that is this illuminating one from e.l.f. that is like pennies compared to the other one and it's just still shiny and pretty even though i'm rubbing it in and i used less here than i did for the charlotte tilbury so if i was going to say buy this not that i would absolutely pick up the elf i feel like it's more hydrating i feel like it set down on my mature skin better it went into my pores and didn't make them show texture better than the charlotte tilbury that is one thing that i had to be really careful with is that if you get 
too much of the Charlotte Tilbury on and then your foundation You're gonna look a little bit cakey because both products are a little bit thicker Whereas this is super thin and can go underneath your makeup and is so beautiful I did just tell you about a Charlotte Tilbury so many of these are Charlotte Tilbury that I probably should have just Gone for doing a Charlotte Tilbury um, dupe video, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector I bought this because I was so intrigued with wanting to know what her formula was because so many youtubers had talked about about it. It does have a bit more slip. It's a little bit more emollient. So I find that if you put it on underneath your eyes, you have to almost set it or put your concealer on or your foundation on over top of it immediately because you're going to need to do that in order to get it not to crease unless you really work with it and really work it in, which is a little bit hard as you know with super emollient products underneath the eye because they can cake a little bit. But one of you said that you had heard that the Believe Beauty Corrector that you can get at Dollar General. Now, I know that they had two colors. You can only buy this in store as far as I know so far. So this one it is so close. It is so so close now I do feel like this is a little bit more stiff and I like that because again You're not working with something that is so emollient that you're going to get it to crease And that is one thing that is just a little bit better to me about some of these that are just a little bit thicker of a product i i shouldn't say thicker because this is not a thick product by any means it's quite thin this one from charlotte tilbury is the medium and then this one from believe beauty is the light medium so you can see that they are two different colors and i do know that the light from charlotte tilbury was quite a bit lighter and i believe very close to the color of the believe beauty one but my goodness as far as price goes as far as how much i like to have the Believe Beauty one instead of the Charlotte Tilbury. You can see that I barely even dipped into the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's because it creases on me too much. So I like the Believe Beauty one. It is what I have on today. It is something that I feel like is a little bit more perfecting than Charlotte Tilbury. So if you want to talk about buy this, not that, this is another one of those products because you're going to save a ton of money and I believe it outperforms it so well. All right. I just told you that I was going to show you after these dry down now look at this you're gonna see how good this is look at this one from urban decay can you see how that's smudging just a little bit and wearing off i've actually got a little bit of it on my fingers but that one from um cover girl is not going anywhere it's not coming off it's not bleeding up or it's not bleeding down i will tell you the other thing is i'm going to just wash off that hand you're going to see that that urban decay will come off really easy Look, the Urban Decay is almost gone and I'm going over them both and the Exhibitionist is having a hard time coming off. I am like rubbing like crazy. It's coming off, but it is taking a long time. So you can tell that that would really go well into your waterline and stay in your waterline a whole, a whole long time. So I'm going to try and get the rest of that off so I can do more swatches on this hand. All right, foundation, foundation, foundation. We are always on the hunt for the perfect foundation. And it seems like Estee Lauder Double Wear is is the perfect foundation for so many people this color right here is a little bit dark for me um, the the normal color that I wear is fresco 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 and it is a perfect color for me pretty much year-round I can kind of bronze it up in the summer but I feel like this foundation if you're not careful especially if it's dry like it, we're coming into winter and it can be just a little bit too drying especially as you age and you find that you have more dry skin indoor heat if you live in a very dry arid part of the country which I do you can find that this can get a little bit cakey a little bit thick adding some primer that's hydrating or adding just a tiny drop of oil in it can really help this it's gorgeous it lasts all day it's called double wear for a reason it lasts all day it covers like a dream it is full coverage you will feel like you do have makeup on with this though even though it looks very perfecting so i love this and i use it quite often it's a beautiful foundation that if i need something to stay on all day this is what i'm going to reach for but I'm here to tell you I found the dupe and I don't know if this has been talked about before on other channels or not This is just one that I ran across because of looking through my foundations and Wondering what I could do as a dupe for the Estee Lauder 
it is the Revlon 24 7 color stay makeup mine is in the normal to dry formula and I'm here to tell you that this acts just like it except for they have an oily normal formula and then they have the dry normal formula and for me I can wear this in the winter and it be perfect but it has that same quality of being able to cover in one coat, having the full coverage and staying put. It says that it is a 24 hour wear. This is 200 nude. It's a great color for me. As a matter of fact, I do have that on this side today. And I just think that this one outperforms the Estee Lauder double wear because of my dry skin. It is a very similar thickness or very similar consistency to both of them. I like the Revlon more because I don't feel dry at the end of the day, whereas if I don't mix something with the double wear, I will feel dry at the end of the day. I love the price point on this compared to this one. Just like the double wear, this will not show up texture. It applies like a dream. It helps to hide all of my imperfections and it's an absolutely gorgeous foundation. And I have talked about this before, but I've never talked about it as a dupe. And I'm so glad that I compared the two. And yes, I am wearing this one on my skin today. Day, I did have to lighten it and I did have to put a color corrector in it that was white in order to get it light enough for me but they both work so good and they both perform so well except for I feel like again buy this one and not this one if you're a mature gal with dry skin that gets drier in the winter I love this stuff this is one that I'm super duper glad that I found because way back way way back um, Becca came out with this highlighter and I have to get my glasses so I can figure out what it is this is called the Becca pearl glow luster glow powder in pure pearl I just loved this because it was not like their regular ones where you pick it up and it felt really heavy or chalky. It was just really silky, really smooth, and it gave a really beautiful beam, but at the same time it was super soft and it didn't show up any texture on my mature skin. I fell in love with it. I think I heard about it from Mel and she just really loved it and I love it too. And it was one of those ones that I just had to have. It's gorgeous because of it's, you know, not showing up any texture, but it being the glow without being any glitter or any sparkle or anything like that. This is the one that I found that is a dupe for it. And I love this. This is more than a glow highlighter from Catrice. And this is the rose one. This has had an embossing in it right here that I've kind of worn off, but it is very, very close. The texture is so, so close. And the color is pretty darn close too. It might be that the Catrice is just a teeny tiny bit more on the champagne side. And then the pearl one from Becca is just a little bit more on the pink side, but you can't tell on the cheeks. There's no way you could tell on the cheeks. So I am wearing it on the cheeks on this side, the, the Catrice and the Becca on this side. So again, we can't get this one anymore, but we definitely can get the dupe with Catrice. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. Every bit as gorgeous as Becca's was. This one I would never have figured out had it not been for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I know a lot of you do have this though. This is the Identity Palette from Persona. This is an incredibly beautiful neutral palette and these colors are stunners. They are so pretty. There are so many unique colors in here and very easy to work with, very soft, very blendable. I fell in love with this thing. You get the orange neutral, the purple neutral, you get the brown, the, the green shimmers, the golden shimmers, the champagne, the pink shimmers. You get this light white color to mix with any of them to kind of, you know, make them brighter, which is so nice. I love this. Again, this is a buy this, not that, because it's not an identical dupe. But I picked up this palette from ColourPop called Lust for Dusk. This has quickly, very, very quickly become my very favorite palette. Look at the colors in here. They're muted. They're gorgeous. They're more on the neutral side, but at the same time, you get just that little bit of beautiful color in there just to kind of set off that neutral look that we all can kind of get in a rut in. And I feel like there's 16 colors in the Lust for Dust, and then there's um, 12 colors 
in the persona. If you take a look at this side by side, I think you're going to see what I'm talking about. They look so close to each other. Now, I if I swatch these right next to each other, you're going to see that they aren't exactly, but they are pretty dang darn close. Like here's the one from Lust for Dusk, and then here's the one from Persona. That's the purple one in there. And then this one right here is that dark brown one, and then the dark brown one out of the Persona. They're so close. They might just have just a little bit of a tonal difference, but can you tell the difference on my eyes? I don't think you can. This one is the Lust for Dusk, and then this one is the Persona. Now, I will say that one thing that I did do was I took the highlighter from the Catrice, and I did put it in the inner corner of both of these just to bring some brightness right there on the inner corner, but the lid, the outer V, the crease, the transition color, everything about them is almost an identical look. You just can't tell the difference in them. I just ended up mixing a few together and these are so close. You can see how close they are. Different price tag, yes, big time different price tags. But I also like this one a little bit better for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love this silver in here. I think it's so pretty and there isn't anything like that in the um, identity palette. So color wise, it's pretty darn close. What about the formula? I love ColourPop's formula. I always have. I've been wearing this on my eyes for a few hours now. There's no fading on the ColourPop one whatsoever. And that's the nice thing about the Persona. They're beautiful. So I feel like if you missed out on this and you're sorry that you did, check out this one, Lust for Dusk, in the ColourPop formula. And I love it so much. This has been my new favorite. I really, really like it. Lastly, I might get some backlash for this last one. But this is one that I feel like for me is a huge find. And I feel like for any of you that are on any sort of a budget where you can't put out that high end dollar for the hourglass palettes that you might really enjoy this. These are the two hourglass uh, palettes that came out. The one is the ambient, ambient lighting edit and unlocked. And this one is the universe one. I picked up the um, unlocked one. Wait a minute. Yes, I picked up the unlocked one first. This is just the ambient lighting powder that you dust across, two blushes, a bronzer, and then the highlighting color. And the same thing goes for the other one, which is again, the universe one. You get the two blushes, although I feel like this bronzer that they put in here this time is so close to a blush that if you have any sort of a skin tone that you like a very natural, you could wear this one as, as a blush. And then you have the highlighter and then the ambient um, setting powder or lighting powder that you can use. And I love that this time they did the big powders here because it used to be so small that you could hardly get a brush in. So I do like these. I think they're beautiful. I think that either one that you pick up you would be a winner for you. But I realize that not everybody can do this. This is an $80 price tag for each of these. And they aren't, you know, they aren't inexpensive. I pick them up because I don't use makeup up a lot because I'm testing so many different things for all of you. And so having these gives me a chance to try all of their stuff, all of their powders, and still be able to not break the bank with the single ones that are usually like 50 something dollars. So I do like these. However, again, this is not an easy price tag to swallow, but I got you covered. And I think that I found really, really good dupes for these. Again, by this, not that because the colors on these aren't identical, but a lot of them are really, really close and I really love them. So the Sephora collection has a micro smooth multitasking baked face palette. And I am positive that they did this because of our glasses ambient powders. Now, Hourglass's powders are silky. They're smooth. You stick your finger into them and you love them, but I almost like the texture of these from Sephora a little bit more. I feel like as I'm putting my finger in here, I feel they're softer and they're easier to blend out. I like them better. I think that they're just ones that are just a little bit nicer. They're a little bit... I don't even know how to describe them other than they're powders that are great for somebody that has texture or large pores because they just really work into the skin and they're beautiful. So this one is the, the Enchant, like I said, and this one is in Captivate. So this is the darker one. That's the other thing that I don't feel like Hourglass does. They don't give you a darker option. 
these did now i'm not saying that this is a dark enough for my super deep toned skin gals but i'm saying that it's pretty good to be able to get a darker tone in here than these light light tones and you can see as i'm rubbing them here that they are a lot darker than what these are up here i love that now let me show you side by side because they are not the same color but like I said, I do feel like the formula is better. This is a little bit more of a warm tone, um, but I think as you get up into those medium tan deep tones, you do get a little bit warmer. And then of course the other one, which is the two light ones, I feel like so many of these highlighters are exactly the same or very, very close. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I actually took the darker one of the Sephora and I did put it on this side with my blush and my high, well, I, not my highlighter because I did my highlighter the other way, but I did put it on with, that's my blush. And then this side with the, oh, I can't remember that name, Universe is over here. So I felt like they were very, very close. I, I don't feel like you're missing out if you don't buy this, but you buy these because you're getting such beautiful colors. I did a whole entire video on Sephora products and I love them. I think that they outperform so many high-end products and I think they're great. I have reached for this light one over and over and over again and it's gorgeous i just i'm really impressed with these they're just very high quality and i'm really glad that i got them that's it for the dupes today i hope that you did enjoy them and again this is a buy this not that and save some money you know i always love to hear about dupes in the comment section from you so if you do have any will you let me know down there i would super appreciate that i'm still trying to get that uh yeah, the cover girl uh, exhibitionist. I'm still trying to get it off of there. It's still not coming off of there. So you should have it on all day too. All right. Thank you for spending time with me. I love you very much. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friend.